celebration as we're rededicating this facility and the, the things that the Lord has enabled us to do to, to renovate the place. Uh, uh, we just wanted to uh, have a time of celebration together and we had invited the Parkway Baptist Church people to come and join us. We all have a sense that we really love each other because we love the same Savior. Amen. And that's it. And it's good to have you back here tonight, George and David. I'm glad you joined us this evening. And so uh, we're just all about Him. Yeah, that's what it's about. Let's so go to Lord in prayer. Father, Father, I just want to thank you for the gift of music and the gift of worship. You are present here in this place. We're not here by ourselves. And we're here about worshiping you. Uh, everything we are and everything we do, it belongs to you and it ought to be for your honor and your glory. So we, uh, we just bow our heads before you and we thank you for all the ways in which you've blessed us and provided for us. And now it's our privilege to celebrate and just to say, Lord, we have joy because you are our God. You have given your son, Jesus, to be our Savior. And uh, we just praise you and love you, Father. So please be with Alex as he shares tonight from Scripture, as he shares his testimony and as he plays and shares his gift with us and with you. Because we pray it in Christ's name. Amen. Alex. This is Alex Jolt, and he has come here tonight to bless us. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Team, verses 24 through 27. But in those days, after that time of distress, the sun will be darkened. The moon will lose its brightness. The stars will come falling from heaven, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then, too, he will send the angels to gather his chosen from the four winds, from the ends of the world to the ends of heaven. Crown him. Crown him.
only tonight is worship Him. To God be all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Thank you for being here. What an exciting time, the rededication of this sanctuary. And uh, I'm blessed to be here, to be a part of this service with you all tonight. And uh, met some wonderful new friends today. So thank you for being so welcoming to me. And my board of directors, Lucy, and her husband, Tim. We're going to do this next piece titled, Indescribable. Oh, Nathan, 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 you can switch to the blank slide there. All right. I love this one because it talks about how we bow down and worship Him. And uh, Indescribable, He put the lightning, He knows them by name. He knows everything about us. And, you know, can we fall to our knees and worship this God who's indescribable? Difficulties. There are still things 
that we can be thankful for in our lives. And that's something to rejoice about. Rejoice in the Lord always. And in case we miss it the first time, it says, again, I say rejoice. And one thing we can be rejoicing when we accept Him into our lives, into our hearts. He, we realize that He has broken the chains, has freed us from the bondage of sin. And this next piece is a talks about that called Broken the Chains. Now it's a little bit more on the, on the jazzy side. Is it okay to clap hands in the Baptist church? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Clap, clap one. So you can clap one to this one. Because I know that some Baptists can and some Baptists can't. That's who about dancing too. But anyway, so here we go. Uh, love to do this one called Broken the Chains. He has broken the chains, freed us from the bondage of sin. The message behind us. Alright, here we go, church. Loving God, 
that sent his son to die for us in our, in our place. This hymn, uh, which I would love to have you join and sing along, It is well with my soul and peace like a river. Will you stand and sing this with me? Be there, what? Bow down 
And uh, how great thou art. What's that last stanza? In humble adoration, what will we do? We will bow in humble adoration. Or the song, current song, uh, Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, to say that you are my God. L. That's, that's worship. And it, says it breaks my heart when there's these worship wars and going back and forth because you know what, ultimately, that's out the window. God's first definition of worship is to bow down to the ground. In the Old Testament, literally means uh, forehead to the ground. In the New Testament, we also get where it can mean uh, to kiss the ground or kiss the hand as a sign of respect. But in either Old Testament or New Testament, it means the same thing, to bow down. And uh, that's such a, when I read that, I thought, wow, this is, this is something else. <laughs> because God, you know, God gave me this gift of music to play, and I could give it right back to Him. But it really made me think about uh, my life and my faith walk and how I'm looking at what worship is. Am I giving God the amount of time on my knees? You know, they say an average Muslim prays five hours a day. Five hours. Are we on our knees, bowing down enough? I'm not asking of you, I'm asking that of myself. Am I doing that enough? Well, along the way, it's, uh, y'all are fun people, don't you think? Yeah. Okay, two of you are fun. <laughs> just, just two. Well, I, brought, I thought it would be fun to do something and uh, do a duet with someone that's never played the piano before. But I'm going to ask this question. How many of you have played piano? Okay, how many of you don't play piano? <laughs> All right, that's good. One of you who do not play piano, I need your help with to come in. How many of you don't play piano? <laughs> no, the, the hands were uh, a few more, a few seconds ago. Oh, I just need I one person to be brave, to come on, one adult to come on down and help me. One person. Do I have to come on? Never play. Um, no, Steve tried to teach me when we first got married. <laughs> and then, we're, well, well, tell everyone this is not a setup. You're not set up. You didn't know you were coming. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is good. We're going to do a duet when two people play the piano at the same time. And um, <coughs> see this note right there. Yes. Now I need you to hold it. And that's all she's going to do. Don't let go. Good. You can hit it once. It won't bite. There you go. Once. <laughs> that's right. No, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> they do all look alike. Yeah, you're, no, you're right. Now, don't let go of that, okay? Now, with your left hand, can you hit this note? Okay. All right, good. Now, I need you to hit those two notes one of two ways. Either A, simultaneously, or B, at the same time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting lost in my own funniness here. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, oh, here we go. Try it. Try it. There we go, all right. Now, I'm gonna, these are just pedals, um, they're, they're good there. Now, you ever heard of Bach, J.S. Bach, J.P. Bach, or Brent Bucker? <laughs> oh, all of them. <laughs> Bach, Bach said, all you gotta do is hit the right notes at the right time, and you've got it. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Right. So when I stop playing, you need to hit those notes. Okay. You ready? Uh-huh. Your concert date? <laughs> <laughs>
so great to come on down in because this matches your outfit too. So. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it wasn't a setup. No, it wasn't a setup. Why don't I get you? This is a um, over an hour of piano instruction. Just uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a, it, it's just music. My music for over an hour. So thank you so much. Thank it's you so really much. Cool. Thank you. Today, if it doesn't work, come back and see me. <laughs> That's what. Now, do you remember this? I remember as a kid doing this one too. Yeah, I love that one. Do you, do you remember what you used to do with that? You used to stand and sing. That's right. Steve's got it. So, let's divide the sanctuary in half. Right here, this half and this half. Are you ready? Okay. Let's have this side start. Okay. songs like that, not because they're old, but because they're great. Yeah. But we also said we can sing a new song, and as a composer and arranger, I love that fact. And one of the things I, I think, hymns tend to say how much God loves us. Yeah. And praise songs, we get to then reflect and say how much we love God. You know, if you think about it, like how, how, how the love of God, talk about the love of God, that hymn, and some other hymns, or if you look at some of the praise music, um, Lord, I lift your name on high. And it's all this, this wonderful circle that points right to God, to the cross. And, uh, you know, we're all level and equal at the cross. And uh, sometimes I think, you know, we, we can't pick up our own cross if we're picking up stones sometimes. And uh, one of the things that I, I love doing in concerts and sharing is, uh, some will say the future of the church, but I think also the current present time of the church. Now I'm going to share one that you don't know. And it's about a uh, man, okay, you can scroll through some of those pictures up there. I got to do a concert for uh, this gentleman, it was a tribute concert, and it was for Richard M. Sherman, he wrote music for Mary Poppins, and he wrote It's a Small World and some other music. There's a movie about it called Saving Mr. Banks, and so we did this tribute concert uh, to Richard Sherman, his brother is Robert, and here's something interesting. The two brothers wrote all this wonderful, happy music, but they didn't like each other. Can you believe that? They didn't get along at all. So as time has gone on, and, and they never, their families never sat together in theaters for their premieres, for their movies, or anything. And so one day, the, the kids that grew up wanted to do a story about this, about their dads, and try to bring their dads together. And in that, Richard Sherman wrote this piece called Prayer, about coming back together as a family. So I'm going to play this piece for you called Prayer.
when we have sometimes we don't get along with someone, we should also keep in mind and pray that maybe we can reconcile and, and make something that might be wrong and make it right. And so that's, my, that's that was a prayer with for Richard Sherman, and hope that that's our prayer as well. Thank you for coming down and listening. You guys were a great, great little group of kids here. Thank you for being here. Give them a hand. brought this video about uh, dreams and how God can be in the midst of our dreams. Now let's say 
God ended up not using me. I never had a ministry. Ministry failed, whatever you want to say. But all I did was meet his expectations. But if I went 1% beyond that, I exceeded his expectations. And the big piece of the puzzle that he didn't know is that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's why I stand here and I thank God for the faith. God's faithfulness is why I stand here and the faithfulness of God's people to keep me on the road for 16 years. To be able to go into a theater for Disney and play to God be the glory. I never saw that one coming, Lord. <laughs> Amazing things. And so there was a hymn I recorded on my second project called Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Ours. This is my story. This is my song. And it really is a mission statement to my ministry. And I'd like to share this with you. I recorded it back in 1832. <laughs>
love the text. Blessed be your name. When the sun is shining as we think it should be, but also when there's pain and suffering in the, in the offering, what you have to offer. I brought a video of, of a partnership, uh, Food for the Hungry. And uh, through concerts and sharing, and we've been with uh, other organizations as well, we've found sponsorships for over 500 kids in over 100 different countries. And um, I used to think of that scripture in Matthew uh, about, uh, uh, you know, about serving the poor, that the poor will always be with us. And I thought, Lord, why do we work so hard if we can't change that? Your word says the poor will always be with us. Well, as in most cases, I find out that the problem is not with the scripture, but the problem is with me and understanding it. <laughs> so I've come to know that scripture to really mean that um, we ought to have fellowship with the poor always. Whether that's at a local level, our state, our nation, and then having a global vision for food for, for people who are in hunger and need wells. So we lose about 50,000 kids per day because of this meme. Here's a video about food for the hungry.
A few years later, I became a U.S. citizen. The day that happened, but never leave me. I remember the moment when becoming an American became very real and personal to me. After seeing the Pledge of Allegiance, a feeling of home settled in, and it was that moment that Hungary became my heritage and America became my home. Where's my own mom coming here uh, to the States? And when I worked on the Patriotic Project, my brother served in the Army, and I wanted to do something special for all of those that have served in the military. So we came up with this medley and uh, of all the branches in the military. And we're going to hear a little bit of U.S. history before each branch. But when you hear the branch of the military that you may have served, you have someone currently serving, or family, and somebody in your family that has served or currently serving. At that time, would you stand and so we can just thank you and love on you and say thank you for your family and family sacrifice to the United States of America. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And I pray that, uh, you know, God can live his blessing from this country. So I'm asking and praying. And I love that scripture from 2 Chronicles. When we humble ourselves, then what happens? God, heal our land. Amen. States Army. In World War I, 4,057,101 soldiers served valiantly on the field of battle.
past and present. You want us to receive a love, a love offering tonight? Yeah, I'd probably play for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't we do that? Sounds good. Yeah, let's pray. What we're going to, oh, let me give you some instruction just quickly. Remember, if it's your general fund offering, just make sure it's in an off envelope. If it's anything loose, any checks or cash that's just loose in the plates, that all goes for a love offering for him. He came all the way from Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Is that a real place? Yeah. All the way from Nashville, Tennessee. You played in how many churches now? Over 1,500. 1,500 churches. <laughs> and you're still going. <laughs> this is good. You're a survivor. <laughs> Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we just want to thank you for the privilege we have of giving back to you out of all the ways in which you have prospered us and blessed us. It's not so much how much we have to give, it's just being faithful to you. So with, with hearts full of gratitude, we want to give a love gift back to uh, you. And uh, we just pray that it might help Alex in his ministry as he goes from church to church to church. We thank you for that in Christ's name. Amen. <laughs> You know, if you have a spiritual need tonight, I know Pastor would love to meet with you and 
and pray with you. But you know, right now I'm going to play Amazing Grace. And we'll sing maybe a couple of verses of this. If you feel this is a time you need to talk to either Pastor or Stephen, uh, or come down to the altar to pray. Pray for maybe good things in your life. Or maybe the difficult moments. Or maybe pray for our country. Pray for someone in need. This may be the time we sing this amazing grace. How sweet this sound.
you all to come and join us tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, did, he was going to come out here earlier, I remember, and for some reason we had a conflict and it didn't work out. I'm really glad you came this time. The thing I like about you, you have a, you're a wonderful pianist. You did a lot of work. But I like your heart the most. You have a heart for Jesus and for his word, and that makes you our brother. So you're a member of our family here. So anytime you're welcome to come to the Parkway and the First Southern Baptist Church, and we are, you're a home. Here, okay? Love you, brother. Aren't you glad he 